If you enjoy war in Civ 6, then this is the scenario for you, because we have to play as Alexander, and we have to take out the entire Persian Empire in not that much time. Now this is going to be a really interesting campaign, because we basically get to play as the greatest great general of all time, Alexander, and he has been so buffed in this campaign. Like, look at this. So, look at the archer versus an encampment. We get 15 combat bonus with a great general within range. That is amazing. So basically our strategy will be to make sure that Alexander is constantly uh, giving off those bonuses. We need to make sure that even if there are multiple sieges going on at once, we've got to move him around the battlefields and make sure that we're all you know, fighting as effectively as possible. Now this is an interesting uh, campaign also because we have 50 turns to take 28 cities. 28 cities. Now, this is on Prince difficulty too. On Deity, you have to do it in 37 turns. Uh, I don't even know if I can do this on Prince, but I, I definitely wanted to explore this campaign and try my best here and see what I can uh, see what I can do. So yeah, 28 cities. Uh, city states do count, and we have to do it in 50 turns. This is definitely going to be, I think, one of those uh, one of those scenarios that things are going to start to snowball around turn 40. Obviously, the more cities we capture. That means the more units we can add to our army and uh, the more, you know, different sieges we can have going on throughout our empire. Uh, there are no technologies, no civics, no policies, no diplomacy, no religion. Uh, it is all war. Uh, and there is actually one thing that we can do. We can generate great generals. So he will not be whoever this is. Who is this? I don't, I don't know. Sec, suc succubus? I don't know. You're a succubus? I don't know. But he's not as powerful as Alexander, but he does still give a pretty nice bonus, pretty hefty bonus. So uh, we're going to want to get to that dude as soon as possible. And a few things have changed playing as Macedon from the base game. Basically only one, that's all military units heal completely when this player captures a city with a world wonder. And there are several world wonders that we can get a hold of early on. Athens actually has the oracle, so we might want to keep Athens alive for a little bit. Um, you know, we get an extra movement point for our settlers, we get an instant uh, two population and a granary, and then uh, yeah, district and production time is decreased, which is pretty natural for these short scenarios that Fraxis have been doing. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, as I said, Athens has an oracle, so uh, has the oracle, I mean. So we might want to uh, keep them around for a little bit. Now what I will do is keep this archer here, that way he can defend, because obviously there's a few hoplites, two hoplites and an archer that, uh, that the Greeks will probably send after us. Uh, let's go ahead and take a shot on this guy. Bam, I'll take that. Uh, we can probably even destroy that encampment completely, can't we? We might be able to. Um, yeah, and I'm actually going to do it with my uh, my cavalry unit. Cavalry. I'm going to say it right for this video. I'm going to try. I'm going to really try <laughs> to say it right for this video. Yeah, I think we should probably take out the encampment just so that we don't have to be bothered by, you know, these defenses. Now, we do have a promotion for this guy. But let's just go ahead and jump into it. Bam, walk right in. Very nice. Okay, so now I'm going to move Alexander. So now is the point where we want to probably move Alexander maybe here. Uh, an interesting note, though. when <clears throat> If Alexander gets taken or dies, uh, instantly you lose the scenario. So we got to make sure that we do not put him in harm's way. That would be just a huge disaster if it's like turn, I don't know, 45 and he gets killed like last five turns. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and start to press forward on uh, Sparta. Which is kind of funny, because it's Sparta, but I actually pronounce it as Sparta, and people like to make fun of me for that. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> let's go after the encampment. Let's see what we can do. We kind of want to be careful because there's a spearman inside here. It says that I can take him down, but maybe I should give you a promotion first. Uh, do I want to take a risk, or can you do it instead? No, you know, let's let's go ahead and try it, maybe. You, you are still within range of Alexander, so you will be getting the 15% uh, 15 combat strength? Nope. Okay, well that was still a good try. Or maybe it's... Oh, I think the encampment... Oh, it has two... Oh, man, two health left. That's freaking... That's ridiculous right there. That's totally ridiculous. Okay, I'll keep you here and we'll kind of wait. Ooh, this guy might be put in a bad situation. He might not be in the best of situations. Okay, so there's no districts or anything else for me to build. Uh, we probably want a unit. Let's go ahead and build my own unique unit. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Two turns. I like that time. That sounds, that sounds like a very reasonable time period. Uh, we cannot move him back. I can, no, I think we want to send him to the front lines. No embarking just yet. That is not a technology that we uh, have control over as Macedon. And uh, yeah, we want to settle in another city, probably right here in the corner. That sounds best. Okay, so please don't die. Okay, so he's going to escape just barely. This guy, 
also put in, he's kind of in a bad situation, but I think we took some risks and it's somewhat paid off here. Definitely somewhat paid off. Okay, so I'm actually going to back you up probably. Back you up and your cavalry unit, so perfect, you'll uh, get a promotion too. Combat strength versus fortified defenders or combat strength when defending versus range. I think we'll have, I think we'll be dealing with that situation a lot more, so I'm going to give him that promotion. It, yeah, this would be great. There's a horseman inside too. Let's let's do this like here. Very nice. Okay. So we took over. We killed the horseman. We took over the encampment. If I can get this kill, that would be great as well. Nice. Perfect. Now I can I can go to I can go in and start attacking the city right now. What I think I want to do instead though is move Alexander closer. Be careful with him though. He's an archer's not going to be able to defend him that well. I think we want to take this guy out, and he should get the 15 combat strength, and we get plus two for, for flanking. I really need to look at this window a lot more. Drew doesn't necessarily look at the window, the combat window, as much as he should. I will admit. Everyone says that, and uh, I, I do agree. I don't do that as much as I should. What I could do now is flip Alexander back. there. He's on a road, so he has crazy movement right now. Uh, do you have a promotion? You do. So we might actually want him to... Uh, to promote himself combat strength versus yeah let's continue to defend I will send Alexander back briefly and then I can send him back to Sparta uh, after this turn is over that's what we're gonna we need to do a lot of that stuff okay so I'm gonna move the archer up I'm gonna see if I can't we kind of want to be careful because I don't want to get hit but it won't be that big of a deal I'm trying to take my time with Athens I don't want to rush in I, I want to kill their the units as quickly as possible though don't get me wrong there. And then you got a promotion, so... Yeah. You know, maybe just stay there. Yeah, maybe actually just stay there. And then in terms of the settler, I actually think I want the extra housing. Maybe we will go right there. Get the extra housing. I can still reach out and grab some of these resources. Let's go and do it. Bam, right there. So right directly on the front lines. Hopefully the front lines begins to move further away from this city. Or else uh, we're not going to win, obviously, here. Uh, builder G's, you are not in a good situation. We need to get some production going for you. I guess go with the builder. Because my capital is going to be focused on military units. <laughs> Quite a bit of military units. Okay, perfect. So, let's focus on this siege first. I can get this kill, but I should probably kill the archer. Let's kill the archer. Bam, nice. We should be able to get this kill. Yep, there it goes. And I'm going to send Alexander back now because, yeah, I think I want to send, ah, oh, man, should I just take over this city? I, you know, I've heard, uh, I, I watched the Euphraxis live stream of, uh, of this scenario and I heard Ed Beach talking about how sometimes people keep Athens around for too long, uh, where every, you know, at a certain point they just, you know, they continue to build military units up and then it's just too difficult to take them over and then you spend way too much time taking this area over. So that is kind of my uh, fear here, but I'll take a nice big old chunk. I'll take a nice bite out of uh, out of the walls, and then I'll I'll head out. So I think we'll take out Athens, I guess, even though we don't really need that boost that it's going to be giving to us. I think we can start attacking Sparta directly. So I'm going to move you forward. Where can you move? Um. I actually would like you, zone of control would, would hurt us. I'd like you to kind of get here first. Yeah, that way we can kind of go, bam, move the archer up. Okay, the archer's not doing much damage at all to Sparta. I guess that's okay. Let's, yeah, well, let's just start hacking away at this guy. I don't even know if you have an attack, do you? No, you don't have an attack. Okay, so we'll wait one more turn. Uh, reinforcements will be coming, but that's okay. There, I mean, Persian reinforcements. We're fine. No immortals just yet. We don't have to fight any immortals. All right, let's go with the, let's go with the cavalry unit now. Cavalry will be pretty important, especially defending our empire. Eventually, we will have a huge Macedonian empire, uh, where we're going to want to spread, uh, we're going to want to defend our borders. All right, so do I think I need the help? Yeah, you know what? We might need to send Alexander back here real quick. I think we will. 
All right, let's let's send him over this way. Well, hold on, hold on. Since he's already over here, let's take the city over. Then I'll send him back. What are we fighting? A spearman. Okay, so I want to make sure that one of these guys take the takes the shot. So I'll shoot with the archer. And then I'd like to hide the cavalry unit within here. Perfect. Now, do I want to heal? Oh, do you have a promotion? You, well, you do. Okay, that's perfect. You'll get a promotion. I'm going to do the tortoise promotion. Is that a galley? Uh, this is kind of a, a risk. I'll let them come. I'll let them come to us. I was going to try to take out that spearman now, but let's just wait. Let's send Alexander back once again. Let's just take over Athens. Actually, getting the getting the the all military promotion right now would be pretty useful. So, let's see if I can take him out. Ugh. I mean, it's a little bit better, but it's not that much better. I'll take a I'll, uh, uh, yeah yeah, let's do it. We'll take that city down because this guy's not gonna do much. He won't get a promotion, anything like that. We want to keep the city. We can raise them. And, uh, and I know that was another strategy that some of the developers from Firaxis were talking about was raising a certain city and then placing more down with settlers. Uh, because, you know, these cities aren't in the most efficient of spots according to Civilization VI strategies. This, is my, this might be their historical location, but in terms of Civ VI strategies, it might not be the best. Okay, so let's repair the granary, I suppose. Get you some extra housing. Yeah, because you're lacking housing anyway. So we want the population to, to skyrocket. Uh-oh. Don't be taking our stuff back, man. And how close are we to getting another great general? Not very close. So we need to we need to make that a little bit quicker. All right, so there's an archer. Um, let's let's hit him with our unit. That way, I can send this guy straight back. And now you can see that everyone got uh, full full heels for full heels. There you go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna send this guy around, hopefully to attack. Uh, this is actually who we want to attack, the archer. Um, are you within range? Yeah, so you get the bonus. You didn't get the kill, man. You disappoint me. Okay, good, good. And let's move forward. Oh, here we go. That's fine, yeah. So, perfect. We'll take the shot right there. Alexander will move up. And did we take... Okay, so we took over Athens, so we don't need to worry about him kind of like moving back and forth at least not yet there's gonna be this nice point on uh there's gonna be this nice point in anna is this anatola asian minor something like that asia minor I, I don't know i might sound really stupid but I, that's what i thought this was called uh there's this very nice point where we need to get our stuff together because when things spread back out through the middle east we're gonna have to split our armies up we're gonna need to either split alexander going back and forth or hopefully get another great general uh and we're gonna need two different sieges to happen at once if we want to have a chance here okay so builder in seven turns we can repair the encampment probably repair the encampment in one turn but one turns are not as as easy you can't just you know in any other civilization campaign you could just throw out one turns like oh it's one turn who cares uh you gotta be a little bit more careful so i i think it's important to get the granaries up because of the lack of housing that these cities have without them um so i'm gonna start sending these back here and they'll be getting to the front lines I've got a builder coming in 21 turns it doesn't okay so Persia has a few builders that we're probably gonna want to steal away you know uh, I'm gonna keep going with this builder but if that's the case then I'm not even gonna build any builders with my production cities I don't think catapults would be pretty important and you know what else Bat battering rams and siege towers that way we can just go straight up over the walls. If that's the case, we should do Siege Towers. We should do it. We should do Siege Towers. Alright. Uh, I'm actually going to give you the promotion because we don't need these guys uh, to the front lines just yet. Range versus land units. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> Same goes for you. I might as well give you the promotions because you won't be able to make a difference anyways. Combat Strength versus Melee and Range. Let's go ahead and give some people some bat Battle Cry. So here is another possible wonder. Probably would be better to go after this city instead. It looks a little bit easier to take. 18. Oh, it looks really easy to take, actually. Oh, we might actually... Yeah, we can... We can get over there really quickly. Not this guy, though. This guy can't. You know what? I'm going to leave them alone, I think. Yeah, I am going to wait because you have a wonder. 
So even though you can't move very far, I'll still send you over here. We need to be careful of uh, their archers. Let's send Alexander here. And I'm gonna just attack the city directly, I think. Well, let's let's attack with this guy first. This guy's a cavalry. Dang, that was just such a strong hit. That is crazy. All right, let's take him down. And uh, yeah, we're gonna want to. Ooh, you can almost get this kill. Okay, let me move you up so you get within range. Oh, I think you still had his bonuses. Let's take this guy down and hopefully trap. Yes. Trap the horseman. That is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so we're going to keep this city. Things move so fast in this campaign. It's crazy. Um, Siege tower in four turns. So Sparta is going to be pretty useful for me, actually, production-wise. This was slightly surprising. So a battering ram also might be a good idea. Siege tower. You know what? Battering ram in one turn, too. We can get that immediately. So let's let's go for it. I'd like to actually stay away from siege units, maybe a little bit here. They're slow moving, they, they they take that turn to set up, which will add up. If we can just melee, 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 that might be a little bit more useful. That's that's what I'm thinking, but I I don't know. Um, I, I do think there is uses, there will be a use for a boat. I mean, we're talking multiple coastal cities within the eastern Mediterranean. One, two, three, four, it looks like. So these will be useful. And it's not like you can build anything else faster. This is the only thing that he can build. So we might as well use him. Since I took Athens out early too, which is sometimes not the best of strategies. I will avoid the uh, granary. Oh, well we can't really. Two turns for the encampment. Might, maybe not a bad idea. And I think we'll see a large amount of attacks this way. I'm going to try it. Let's see. Uh, I will give you a promotion. Combat strength versus defending, combat strength versus fortified defender. I'll do this one again. And uh, these guys got promotions. Good. Okay. I, I could go for this city now. We, we need to steal some builders away. We don't need to. It'd be nice, though. It would be nice. Alexander's safe, right? He is safe. The problem with keeping this city around is that it does seem to be one of their bigger coastal cities. Actually, not the biggest. Here's their biggest. Right here in, like, what is that? Uh, Israel, Palestine area. Um, let's go... Okay, yeah, so we want to send the, get these guys back on the road. Get back on the road! And we probably want to be careful of Athens because there, there are boats in the eastern Mediterranean. So the Persians will send over forces. <coughs> Excuse me, forces. So no, yeah, so not one turn for any of these other things. Another archer could be useful. Five turns. Let's go ahead and do it. Five turns is still a long time. Okay, so we're going to want to fight these guys back. Probably. We probably want to. Okay, so here come their immortals. Yeah, I'm going to see how much damage I can do here. Nice. You can't really trust. You really can't trust some of the, uh. The, the bars here. These notifications. Sometimes it says it won't get the kill, but it does. I imagine that's like with the movement and stuff like that. Okay, so here is a cavalry unit. I think oh, these immortals are going to be tough to kill. 35 combat defense. Much, much higher than some of the other things we've been fighting. Uh, but that is... You will not be fighting with, uh, with Alexander's bonus. We've got to be careful if we do this, because we're putting him in harm's way. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should heal you for a second. I'm going to take a risk. We need to take risks in this in this scenario. Let's go ahead and do it. He might hit us. He might back away. Who knows? Oh, hold on. Do I want to press forward here? I've got a battering ram and everything. Um, I'm gonna move you there. We're gonna move. We're gonna start moving these guys. Oh, we've already moved them. Yeah, I think I'll press forward. We don't need Alexander just yet, though. So I've got a few units that can come with me, and then I'll lock you to this guy. 
Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Yeah, we don't need Alexander to come back yet. Let's keep him... Let's keep him with us. Oh, you have an attack. Oh, then we're going to want to get this kill. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so that way, you know, we can kind of distract the AI. The encampment might, you know, who knows what they'll hit. Oh, you didn't have walls, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, well, the good thing I... Good thing I was, I was stupid. Okay, so Granary in one turn. Maybe now's the time. Yeah, because you're not growing. So I guess I will. Okay, so boom. You guys are not moving very fast. Why is that? Uh, don't we get... Uh, we, we do get a movement bonus for settlers. But not necessarily for anything else. This is a unique uh, building that we'll be able to build eventually. Alright, well anyways. Maybe something to do with the road or outside of territory. Something, I don't know. So I can immediately start to hit this city. Let's move there and then bam. We want to bring somebody else over here to help out. Oh. Okay, well I think, geez, I don't know what we want to do. We probably want to give a nice uh, boost. When's the next World Wonder? I don't see any. Not until Egypt, which is going to be key to get those pyramids. What turn is it? It's turn 8. I think we've made, you know, quite a bit of progress. When, did the sie when is the Siege Tower? Siege Tower is coming in one turn. Oh man, do I want to start attacking this? Looks like we'd be fine. Yeah, especially because they don't have any walls. Just do it, Drew. So you could move him there, him there, and then we can probably, yeah, give you the bonus to attack this city. That way it's already at half health. Very nice. There we go. So now I can take out this guy a little bit later. I'm going to move Alexander over this way to end his turn. I think he'll be safe over this way. Okay, next turn. Okay, we're safe, but those reinforcements are coming. Here's, that's going to be the issue. So we want to, yeah, we definitely want to take the city if we can now. Yeah, we want to take the city now. Let's let's send the encampment over this way. Or the, the, the siege tower. Okay, that is, that's with Alexander and everything. Are you with us? Oh, okay. This is a glitch. I was going to say, we should have taken out most of those walls. All right, bam. Okay, good. So that guy's, we, unfortunately, we won't be able to take the city now, but uh, good. We're getting up a galley. Seems like boats are coming our way. And uh, let's go sit back with the archer. All right, so this this guy should be ours. Ooh, that uh, that heavy cavalry is going to be a problem as well. But let's see if we get this kill. Nope, city's not ours. Well, there it goes now. Probably want to take this guy down and then... Ooh. You know, I'm a little bit worried. I might move Alexander. Yeah, I'm going to move Alexander over here. I can shoot this guy, but the immortals... Well, the immortals... He shouldn't be able to hit us. Ah, uh, we didn't get the kill either way. He might get a promotion. They might kill us. He might get a promotion out of that heavy cavalry, which uh, would be a big problem. Okay, let's keep going with some units. So I've got a siege tower. I've got a battering ram. Do I want anything else? No. Let's focus. Ah, that's why. These guys get an extra five combat strength when... Uh, Replaces, oh, plus five. That's for those ones. These guys get Macedonian Unique Heavy Cavalry Unit additional five combat strength when adjacent to a Great General. So that's even for uh, the other Great Generals that we have. Let's let's go, with, let's go with one of these. So whenever we get that other Great General, which who knows how long that's going to take, we'll get it eventually, I guess. Oh, geez. Maybe you should go with the Builder, too. When do we get another Great General? Okay, soon. Soon. It's uh, almost turn 10. I will repair you and we'll probably bring out another galley. I need to... This is where things are going to get really dicey for me because, uh, as I said, we got to figure out the right direction to go in. Who we send towards 
uh, the middle of Persia and who we send down towards Egypt, basically. So if we have more galleys to support us, then we might not need as many land units early on, is what I'm thinking. Okay, well, hold on. Where is Alexander? We didn't lose anything, surprisingly. Let's... Let's keep you here. Let's put you right there. Bam. Get you enough. I don't know what that guy's doing. Is it say that we get a battering ram? I don't know. I think he's glitched out, but whatever. Ah, still no kill. Well, we don't need to bring Alexander back next time, so it's it's pretty much ours next time. And keep on going. Now, we'll, we still need the help here. Man, we've got to get that city because... So what I'll do is I probably won't have anyone heal. I think we can take on the Immortal. Well, if you have a promotion, that's even better. Let, we might as well get the promotion now. Instead of healing. Ooh. Where can you move to where you could shoot him? There? Well, that's not. That's still not good enough. Yeah. I'm going to do... I'm going to give out the promotions. Combat strength against uh, damage units. I like that. Yeah, let's do it. No combat strength and movement penalty when attacking from a uh, sea or river. That's kind of nice. All right, I'm going to go with another galley. I think I'll go with another galley. I do have my first builder, finally. I think we want to improve my capital. Yeah, get up a few mines. Wait a second. Can we even build mines? I don't even know. I think we might... Oh, yeah, yeah. So there we go. Okay, so yeah, we, we want to bring this guy back to uh, the capital for sure. All right, bam. So let's take over here. here. So you should be ours. Perfect. <gasps> Still no. Well, that's because we're attacking without uh, our general. So that's that's okay. So now it's ours. We get the, the nice healing bonus all around. Siege tower is coming. Now here's the problem is uh, if we keep building units so far away that will be a problem for the rest of this campaign because the capital's all the way in the corner of the map we need a nice city production city somewhere in the middle probably uh yeah we'll keep the city i don't maybe i shouldn't be sending this settler or this builder all the way back maybe i should work with a better population city somebody somebody is already pretty good around here I think that's what I'm going to do instead. I think we'll keep... I mean, the capital can keep growing, doing whatever it wants, but... Uh, I, I think that's what we should focus on. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's get some kills. Yeah, let's get this kill. Come on. Or let's try to get this kill. Or get close to this kill. Alright, so you're going to move around him. Oh, yeah, there we go. We can still get the... Can we? Nice. Nice, okay, and then Alexander's moving with you guys. We've got four units on the front lines. Where is Persia at? Okay, so we should be able to walk into this city. That's that's not a big deal. This is where we need to split, though. As I said, we should have two... Dang, these galleys... Our galleys are going to have to fight quite a bit of Persian naval units, which is going to be a problem. Quite a bit of a problem. I'm going to go another one of these. We can quickly... Oh, I love that. Very quickly get them to the front lines. That's perfect. I want to capture this guy. If I can. But I don't think I can. Maybe we'll get him eventually. Oh. Yeah, that battering ram is, is really killing our movement. We might as well give you the promotion. That's fine. So is it is it Sparta that has good uh, production? No. How's your guy? How's how's yours? It's okay. The builders clearly, yeah, the builder cities are not gonna have the best. This isn't too bad. All right. Well, you know what? I'm gonna work with these cities. Yeah, we'll work with these cities. I built a granary for a reason, so that way they get more population up. Hopefully, working some of the mines within the future. And. 
Jeez. Maybe I will build a catapult. Maybe in 15 turns we'll need a catapult. Who knows? Let's see. I think let's go with another galley. Ah, three galleys though? Three... Uh, we actually might need it. Because we're not getting any city bombard. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know about that. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna switch it up. I think I'll go with this unit instead. When is my great general coming? 35. We're not making much more progress. Zero points per turn. We can work that instead of... Oh, that might be a good idea. Oh, that might be a really good idea instead. This, st this city still has... Oh, you can't do that there. Don't you have an encampment? You do. District based. Oh, but that's still going to take 19 turns. Maybe we'll chill. Maybe, I'll, maybe I could do it with the, the capital. Maybe the capital could help me out a little bit. Alright, so it looks like I can take on that immortal. I'll move you there. I'll move you here. We are going to get off the road for the first time. There was a nice little road that was leading us all over this way. Let's, uh, let's take him down. Boom. Alright, so this city's done next turn. Oh my gosh, we can attack it now. And that's with... No, I don't want to attack the Spearman. Let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, let's, let's take a shot at it right now. Just start splitting them up. Okay, you sleep. You're in a good spot. You're safe, I think. Daddy's got you. Daddy's got you. Alright. And now we're... I'm going to send you... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's give you a promotion and then we'll send you up over towards those front lines. Come on, baby. So we've got a, we've got a lot of units. What we'll probably do is ignore this front for now. If I need to, I'll, I'll keep like an archer back. But this isn't as important this way because there's not as many cities. So if, it, if this takes us a long time to, to go through, that's fine. But I think this is the core, obviously the core amount of power. If we could take the capital, that would be perfect. Looks like that's the biggest population city with seven. Then that's kind of what we want here. Oh, man. Yeah, but we're going to get surrounded. There's a lot of open terrain. Finally, we got a boat up. Okay, so... Two turns. We'll be able to do something with this boat. Here we go. Some mines. Let's get let's get the mines going. That's right. These guys are not going to grow, are they? Yeah, a lot of them aren't going to grow. So maybe there is some use to... Uh, to go work on the capital instead. That's why some people. That's why some people were talking about how it's better to burn uh, the cities down and then replace them with settlers. That way, at least they continue to grow for you. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, actually. But um, let's let's go with another builder then. Yeah, let's go with another builder because I captured a few. Oh man, this guy's still running away. Like, oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. I was gonna say, man, that's ridiculous. I've got. A, I'm on a horse. I'm on horseback. How is he still going? How is he still running away from me? Dang. Okay, so we've got this huge migration of units here. Let's start him back on the road. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. We've got all these units. Okay, so this is where things are gonna get really dicey because we've got reinforcements from the south and from the east. Uh, but I'm gonna stop right there. Uh, yeah, we have to stop right there. Hopefully, we'll take this city. And then we just have to defend it. I think we'll have to defend it until reinforcements come, until the backup comes. Because, man, this is, uh, this is going to be kind of scary. What we'll probably want to do is start purchasing a few units, too. Because I've got 100 and 300 gold. So I've been making a lot of gold, actually. I didn't even realize that. Um, maybe we'll purchase something here. But let's, let's wait till the next video. So I'm pretty happy with the way this campaign has been going. We managed to take out quite a bit of cities, even though it's really early into this scenario. So I know that things are going to be a lot easier as we uh, go further into this campaign. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.